Hey, Paris. Welcome. How you doing? I'm great. How about yourself? Thank you. I'm good. I'm good. Um, just curious what this week was like for you, you know, just going through free agency and obviously landed. I think everyone would call this a prove it deal. Uh, just your mindset kind of going into that type of contract. Yeah, man. Um, to be honest with you, it was it was a whirlwind. Uh, you know, uh, I definitely my eyes were open, you know, with the business side of everything and, you know, just how this league works, um, you know, but it, it was fun and exciting at the same time, uh, just of all the possibilities, you know, that were out there. Um, and then obviously when I got close to a deal with the Giants, um, you know, the excitement uh, through me and my family, man, we were just, you know, excited for this, this, this next step of our journey. Um, you know, I, I think we're incredibly greatly grateful to be here, so. And then, I mean, I think if anyone looks at your career history, obviously the injuries were a big part of it those first three years. Uh, how tough was it to deal with that? Obviously, you were healthy last year. Do you think you turned the corner or you changed something? You know, how do you explain, uh, obviously, playing 17 games last year? Yeah, man. Um, you know, you know, my career is what it was. Uh, you know, it was tough, uh, very tough those first three years. Um, but being able to bounce back from each and every injury that I had, man, um, I really learned a lot about myself. I felt like I grew um, as a man, as a person. I'm um, a player, obviously, um, but I, I, I just, it allowed me to grow in so many different areas um, because, you know, I've seen a lot of myself um, that I didn't know that I had, you know what I mean? I was able to fight and just bounce back so many different times, man. It really showed me a lot. Um, and then just speaking of terms of last year, being able to play full 17, like that's all I ever wanted to do, you know, that's just given the history of my career, that's all I ever wanted to do. So being able to do that, I was blessed, grateful, um, and, you know, like the injuries that I had, I just, it was things that like were just freak accidents. Like, you know, you couldn't really draw it up. Like you, like they they weren't avoidable to me. Um, and, you know, it was just things that were happening. Just had some bad luck. Um, but like I said, was able to, to, to play all 17 last year, man. So I was, I was extremely blessed. Thank you. Thank you. Patty Trina. Hi, Paris, nice to meet you. Hi, Patty, nice to meet you. Welcome to New York. Um, Paris, I wanted to ask you about your deployment in the Colts offense to date and what haven't we seen from you that you feel is a strength that maybe you can deploy in, in the Giants offense? Yes, um, you know, I feel like um, there's there's a lot of things that, you know, football fans haven't seen. Um, you know, I feel like in college, um, coming into the NFL, um, you know, I I was and still am a guy that can do a lot of different things, you know, on the football field, whether that's lining up inside in the slot or outside, um, a lot of stuff over the middle, um, down the field plays. Um, you know, I, I think it's it's a wide variety, um, you know, when it comes to what I can do on the football field. And, you know, I'm extremely blessed and talented uh, to be able to do those things. But um, I think last year, you know, with the Colts, uh, it was just a glimpse of what, you know, I can be in this league. and. You know, just was happy to, you know, be out there for Hall 17 and, and get the opportunity to show what I could do. And you also spoke about, you know, overcoming the injuries, the adversity that went with that. You also went through kind of a revolving door at quarterback. Can you just talk about the challenges of that and just, you know, how you made it work? Absolutely. Um, you know, it's definitely tough, definitely tough as a receiver, you know, going through so many different changes, um, you know, with so many quarterbacks. And then especially last year, like playing with three quarterbacks in one season, it's definitely tough. Um, you know, because you, you want to build a, a rapport with a guy um, and keep it consistent throughout the, uh, the season and, you know, build that chemistry. Um, you know, so just with the, the so much change, it's like it's hard to do that. Um, and as a receiver, it's like you got to change what you, what you, what you want to do, like running routes, and you got to, you know, be on the same page as the different quarterbacks. And, you know, some guys like other things and certain routes. So uh, it's a lot of different change, and it's hard to, you know, get consistent and, you know, get on the same page with so many guys. But, uh, you know, the guys that we that we had, credit to them because, you know, they're super detailed, like from top to bottom, each and every one of them super detailed. So it was easy to, you know, get on the same page and get along with those guys. Um, but, you know, I'm excited, you know, being here now in New York, uh, getting to build a rapport with, with Daniel Jones. So I'm excited for what's to come. Thank you, and good luck to you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Kim Jones. Hey, Paris, I'm Kim. How are you? I'm great. Nice to meet you, Kim. It's great to meet you. Um, I, I, you. You mentioned like the bad luck, which I think most of us can, you know, relate to in our lives at different <laughs> points. I'm just wondering, is there an example that would help us here in this market understand, 
you know, one of those like bad luck things where you were like, you got to be kidding me. This just happened and it's going to keep me out of the game or that kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. I can, I can pick any, any one of the injuries, but um, I think the two that like, stick out in my mind are like um, the one for sure uh, playing Houston Texans season uh, 2021. Um, you know, I, I catch a 50 yard touchdown um, and the DB just lands on my foot in the end zone and my foot breaks like, you know, like, like, what are the chances? What are the odds of that? Um, and then the other one is um, in 2020 COVID season, uh, I'm coming around the end, get a, a reverse handoff, and the safety just, you know, comes straight at my knee, and it was just a hard hit to my knees. Like, like those two things, like, were just unlucky to me and, like, really unavoidable. So um, I think when I, you know, speak about the bad luck thing, I think, you know, those two things stand out. And when you think, when you like envision yourself, you're probably one of the many players who you know, envision success because that's why you are where you are. When you envision catching passes from Daniel Jones with Saquon in the backfield and everything that this Giants team seems to be building toward, what is, what is your vision for, for what the rest of your uh, NFL career can begin to be? Absolutely. Um, you know, I think the ceiling is high. Um, and I'm, I'm grateful to be in the position that I am to have this opportunity is everything to me. Um, this team, this organization is trending in the right direction. Um, I think we all seen that last year. Um, you know, so being able to to come in here and get an opportunity means everything. The fact that you know the the staff, the coaches, you know, from everybody top top to bottom wants me to be a part of it. Um, you know, it, it's huge. Um, and I'm you know I'm not going to take that for granted. Um, I'm going to give give them all I got, man. But. Definitely envisioning success uh, with those guys, you know, is, I mean, it's amazing because you've seen what this offense did last year um, and just the way they, they made football look just so fun and how the offense was just coming together and gelling, man. It was, it was awesome to watch, you know, from, from far. Um, and to be here now, uh, getting the opportunity to be a part of that is it, it, it's pretty exciting. I kind of sometimes ask a third question, so I'll thank you in advance <laughs> for this. But I don't know how much you know of Darren Waller. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing you know his game at least. Mm -hmm. yes. um, what kind of excitement does that give to a receiver like yourself to know that that big guy is going to be on the field oh, with yeah. you? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, Darren actually reached out to me yesterday, and I, I was, like, super excited when I saw his text. But uh, I think just the versatility that he brings to the game, man, um, like being an all-around tight end, uh, being able to do it all, um, it's huge for the wideouts because you know, uh, you know, when Darren Waller's on the field, the defense better <laughs> attract to him. So, uh, you know, I think, man, it, it's it's just gonna gel together perfectly. Um, the pieces that you know this organization and team is putting together, uh, you know, for the offense, man, I think it, the ceiling is high, and you know, the future is bright. Really, really quickly, did you know it was Waller texting you, or did it come up as a number and you were like, maybe I'll answer this? <laughs> no, nah, I knew it was him actually because okay. I got his number from Dave's like five minutes okay. before, and I was actually writing out a text, and like he sent and I sent at the same time, so it was it was pretty funny. But yeah, excited excited to get to you know know those guys and get to play with those guys for sure. Harris, thank you so much. Thank you, Kim. Appreciate you. We have time for two more. Bob Brookover. Hi Paris, congratulations, uh, welcome. Um, how, how um, what was I gonna say here? Oh, I, I wanted to ask you about Bobby O. We asked Bobby about you yesterday. Um, did you talk to him before he before you signed? And what can you tell us about him? Yeah, first of all, thank you, Bob. I'm excited to be here. Um, but yeah, I talked to Bobby um, actually a lot before I signed and um, you know, obviously he was here yesterday and he was kind of telling me about his day and all that stuff. Um, but Bobby's my guy and, you know, he just kept it real with me. He kept it real about, you know, the staff, you know, that obviously they were asking him questions about me. Um, and, you know, he just, he was getting me excited. He was telling me about the facility, about uh, the people here and just how, you know, family oriented it felt. Um, and, you know, just for the opportunity itself. Um, but I'm excited to, you know, embark on this journey with Bobby. You know, I got a familiar face here with me um, and him. So excited for this journey uh, to start it together. What, uh, what got you through those, those first three years? You would obviously come off a great year at Ohio State. You go in the second round. Mm -hmm. What kept you going uh, through those, those years of freak injuries and just yeah. not being on the field? Man, my, my family was everything during that time. Uh, my family was big for me. Um, and then my faith, which I'm also very heavily into, 
um, those two things are my driving force. You know, no matter if things are going good or things are going bad, uh, those two things, family and family, are my everything, and that's what I rely on. And, you know, uh, my wife, uh, she stood by my side through those injuries, you know what I mean? And my mother and, you know, my grandparents, everybody just down the whole line, like, everybody just stood by me, man. And, you know, when I was down in the dumps, they kept me positive. Uh, they kept my mindset right. And, you know, obviously uh, my two children, you know, were a part of that as well. And it's just, it's much deeper than me, man. So, like, when I was going through that stuff, like, it, it was always just bigger than me. Um, and I was always doing it for a bigger purpose. Um, obviously to make my family proud, but also to, you know, fulfill um, and give back to God what he gave me with these talents and gifts. So um, th those two things are, are everything. And, and, and one last one. Uh, you, you kind of alluded to what you were seeing from the Giants, but you were seeing it firsthand at the end of the season on, on pro probably their favorite day <laughs> of the year where they clinch a playoff yeah. spot. Describe what that day was like from the other side and, <laughs> and now to be on that side. Yeah, man. Uh, it, was, <laughs> it definitely was not as exciting as it was for the Giants fans at that time. Uh, you know, it it was rough. Uh, obviously, you know, in Indy last year, it was just it was a tough season, man. You know, but we we fought our way through it. Um, but yeah, spe speaking specifically on that day, um, obviously, you know, I was on the sideline just watching Daniel run up and down the sidelines, going crazy. I, I forget how many yards he rushed for, but it was every time I looked up at the screen, he was running for like 20 yards. <laughs> but um, nah, man, just really watching the offense, um, you can tell that they were just like having fun, like they, the chemistry that it showed out there on the field, um, getting guys in the right position to make plays, um, you know, they had guys making the plays all over the field. Um, and it just, you know, it looked fun, it looked, it looked fluid. Um, you know, so now being in this seat, you know, after having seen that, you know, from afar, um, I'm just super excited, man, for what's to come. Good luck. Thank you, Bob, appreciate you. Last one here, Charlotte Carroll. Hey, Paris. Nice to meet you. Hi, Charlotte. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, actually, I just kind of wanted to follow up on, on Daniel Jones. What you've seen from him, I guess, or how much, I don't know how much you've been able to watch or if you've met him, um, what you're excited for in that relationship and, and kind of getting to know him as a quarterback. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so Daniel actually texted me as well yesterday. Um, and, you know, he told me he was a, a big fan of my game for a long time, and that <laughs> got me excited uh, because, you know, I mean, you just don't know who's watching, you know what I mean? So uh, that got me excited. And obviously, you know, I'm a huge fan of his game and, you know, how he, you know, took the steps throughout his career to just get better each and every year. Um, I think if you ask anybody, you can see his development um, and see how he really just took control um, and commanded this offense, man. And, and he did great things last year. Um, you know, obviously he got what he deserved and I'm, I, I'm so happy for him. Um, but. Even like texting him yesterday, like he's like, because I'm out actually out in Arizona training right now in the off season. He's like, man, let's, I gotta get out to Arizona. Like, let's get, let's get to work. Like, that's, you know, what I'm saying that's what you want. Like, you're a new guy coming in, you know, new, new piece of the offense, and you know, the, the quarterbacks are like, let's, let's go, let's get some work together. So, that's just so welcoming, and you know, that's so promising. And obviously, you know, I'm ready to build on a relationship with him and create a rapport with him. Um, so. Just super excited. I haven't really stopped smiling since, you know, I agreed uh, to come here. So just excited.